So I'm gonna I'm gonna work at being a merchant for a bit here, guys. Oh god, we're under attack! Oh, we just got destroyed! <laughs> Wait! Oh, we just died! Rick Hard Slab! No! Oh god! Oh, they like ejected me from the planet. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I have a new plan. <laughs> it's called Don't Get Killed. Welcome back to our final episode of our 2020 Fanstravaganza. I'm your host, Gaming J, and over the past two weeks, really, we've been playing fan recommended games as part of our holiday celebration together. And the final game that I have for you today, I am so excited about this game. It is a game called Escape Velocity, and when I looked this game up after it was recommended to me, it looked so cool that I was like, I can't leave it to chance with voting. I've got to play this game. This looks like the game that I wish I knew about as a kid. I would have played the crap out of this game. So first of all, I mean, looking at the, the keys, you start to get a sense of what this game is going to be. This is a top-down uh, flying game, sort of in the realm of asteroids. We can fly in any direction, but we're going to have a whole universe to explore. We can engage in piracy. We can engage in missions. We can engage in trade. You can try and like ferry cargo from planet to planet. Um, apparently you can like go to bars and maybe even encounter NPCs. I don't know. I'm super excited. It's sort of like Star Trek meets, uh, you know, buy low, sell high market meets pirates meets everything. So you kind of fly around with the arrow keys. You have an afterburner and stuff. You can use uh, hyperspace to jump between uh, planets and systems. You can target enemy ships and fire. You can also hail them and communicate. You can land on ships. You can board ships that you have disabled and you can steal from them or even try and take them over. And then you can have escort ships. So escort ships are ships. You can have a whole mini fleet. This game looks so cool. You can even cloak yourself like the uh, treacherous Romulans. So I'm very excited to give this one a shot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, create a new pilot here. My pilot's name is Rick Hardslab. Uh, normally I rename myself to some kind of variant of J, but I like Rick Hardslab. That's a, that's a cool name. If you check this box, when you're dead, you're dead. No reincarnation allowed. Well, Rick Hardslab, believe it or not, is a big believer in reincarnation, so we're not going to check the hardcore box. Uh, please christen your brand new Rendell Star Drive 805 cargo shuttle. The Journeyman sounds not so cool, so we're going to call this one the Pink Ninja. Because we're going to be sneaky like a ninja, and I want my foes to underestimate us, hence the Pink Ninja. All right, Pink Ninja, piloted by Rick Hard Slab. Man, this is like, it. you know what? It seems like the beginning of a very cheesy... Um, you know, Harley Quinn romance novel. Like I'm picturing those romance novels you see in the bookstores that have like a guy who's wearing a white shirt that's unbuttoned all the way and like a woman who's like, oh, in the throes of passion and they're like embracing and it's like a cowboy's delight is like the title. This is like Rick Hard Slab's Pink Ninja. That'd be the title of my sci-fi Harley Quinn romance novel. Anyway, let's go ahead and enter our ship and begin. Oh, look at this. You even have like a Star Trek style shuttle bay. Okay. So here we are, we begin. Rick Hard Slab's Pink Ninja is all but a shuttlecraft. Look at all the activity in the universe already. We have like ships flying around all over the place. This is pretty cool. So if you come over to a planet and you press L, you will act you will select the planet, and then by pressing L again, you can go ahead and land. And before we get too far in this, I just want to say give a big shout out to a fellow YouTuber. I don't know him. But uh, in order to prepare for today, in order to learn the game, I actually watched uh, a video of his, uh, and I'll put a link in the description down below. It's Paul's Crap is the name of his channel, but he does a lot of uh, sort of nostalgia-y things in his own way, it seems. I mean, I've only really watched the one video on his channel, but I did watch his Escape Velocity channel uh, video to get a handle on how to play this game. So credit where credit's due. Thank you, Paul, for making that video. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, if Paul sounds up your alley, you guys will check him out. Anyway, Levo is an independent world that has resisted joining the Confederation. Anyone is welcome at the tiny but neutral Levo spaceport located on the island of Lokanda in Levo's southern ocean. So there's a few things you can do here. One, of course, is you can go to the commodity exchange. So 
Um, I like, by the way, that it tells you what resources are low and, and which are medium or high because I have played, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Trade Winds. It's a, a, an old PC game where you could kind of do this only in pirate water. So you could sail around and you could buy commodities at low or high, or you could be a pirate and prey on other ships and just earn your money by attacking and sinking and capturing other ships. It's actually very similar to this now that I think about it. But in Trade Winds, you don't get an indicator of what's low and what's high. So you yourself have to learn what commodities typically sell for. So we could buy some commodities. Uh, we only have 20 free space in our cargo holds. So I'm going to hold off on this for a minute. But ferrying commodities around is not a bad way to earn a bit of extra cash, I think. Uh, we can also uh, come here to the mission computer, and there's various missions. So we might take uh, one of these. In fact, I think we will take one before we leave the system. So we can ferry passengers to Simon's Planet, to Pegasus, and earn some quick credits this way. Rush deliveries. Um, 10 tons of industrial goods. Interesting. 25,000 credits. That pays a lot more. We might take a rush delivery. Ferrying passengers. I guess it's like the safer thing to do, but like, who cares? Um, cargo delivery. Okay, so a lot of these are like just sort of uh, ferrying people or supplies around. I wonder if later on in the game you get like pirate missions, like hunt down the rebel scum. So there's a confederacy in this game and rebels, uh, and there are two opposing factions, as we'll see, hopefully. Let's check out the spaceport bar, though, because I want to get drunk. Welcome to the Levo Bar and Grill, home of the best plast burgers this side of the Gamma Quadrant. Um, hire an escort. Now, that is not code for a lady of the night, guys. That is literally hiring another ship to fly around with you. Don't get the idea that this game is littered with prostitution. Although that, you know, whatever, if it was, sure. But it just happens not to be. We can, have, of course, though, if we want, we can go and gamble. Um, oh, God, I want out of this. Uh, my only choices are to bet 1,000 1, and 5,000. And I can't. Oh, I can't exit. OK, so, yeah, you basically this is a slot machine. You're not betting on which shape is coolest. If I press it, then all these things will. You know what? Let's just bet a thousand. Why not? Oh, <laughs> and it goes so fast. So I am playing this on an emulator. It just ran so fast. We didn't even get to see the outcome, but I definitely lost there. All right. We can watch a hollow video. Lose 20 pounds in two hours. Call now to find out. God, how depressing. So in the future of space, they still have these like crappy infomercials with like snake oil salesmen trying to sell you junk. That is sad. All right, well, um, if we go to hire an escort. Aha, uh -huh, see, so you can select different ships and oh God, they want a lot of money though. They want a lot of money. Oh, we could hire this guy, but no, uh, that would be all of our money. All right, let's check out our mission computer. So let's let's check out one of these rush deliveries. I feel like this might be a good way to earn a bit of cash. Uh, they need industrial goods at Master's Planet. Um, I like the industrial good because it's 10 tons. It's a nice, even amount. Okay, Master's Planet, Deneb 3, and Dark Star. Let's just see where those are. So if you press the M button, it'll bring up your map. Oh, man, and we our map sucks. Where is Master's Planet and Deneb and Dark Star? I don't even know. So interestingly, so this is the map. Um, basically, the way this works is you can jump to any system that's connected to the system that you're currently at. So like if we want to go to this system way over here, we would first have to jump to Capella and then move on. Interesting that they have sort of some Battletech names for planets. Vulcan, that's uh, I mean, that's in the Battletech universe as well, but also famously Star Trek. I know this game has Star Trek sound effects. Um, I wonder if there was a Battletech influence too, if the designers knew about Battletech and uh, were paying homage. Anyway, um, legal status clean. Oh yeah, you can get into trouble with the legal governments and like planets right now, these are all blue. You can get, they can turn red and hostile to you. They might not let you land on planets if you, uh, you know, do bad things. So kind of neat. Um, all right, well, since we have no idea where we'd be rushing a delivery, I mean, let's just risk it. Why not? We're going to rush a delivery to Master's Planet. I accept. Now, um, I can also, by the way, go into... Wait, they don't have... They don't have any, uh, any weapons or anything to buy. Yeah, I guess we're done here. You can buy weapons and ships and stuff. 
Um, but for right now, uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing for us to buy. Okay, so here's Master's Planet. So we're probably going to go to Capella. We could go to Vulcan. Vulcan is uninhabited. So uh, there's going to be no planet to land on. I would like to land on a planet, though. Because I would like to maybe buy some guns if I can find them. Because uh, right now I don't think I have any weapon. <laughs> In fact, let me double check this. Player info. Uh, so Rick Hard Slab. Uh, he's rated as harmless. Uh, my ship has some goods. Yeah, I don't even sh think this shuttlecraft can get weapons. Anyway, so here's how you jump. You fly away from the planet and watch the, uh, watch the hyperspace. So Capella will light up. And hyperspace will light up. Oh, no, wait. Hyperspace is lit up. We can now hit J to jump. And we're going to jump, right? Oh, here we go. Boom! Go to hyperspace, baby! <laughs> and now we have successfully come to the planet of Capella. So we're going to come in here and we're going to... Uh, whoops. We're going to land. So you have to go like pretty slow if you do want to land. There we go. All right, so here is where you can visit the shipyard, and you can look at other ships for sale. 268,000! Man, you have to run some missions to get some of these things. Uh, you can also outfit your ships. You can buy weapons, which uh, we might want some weapons. So proton bolt cannons use coaxial magnetic accelerators to boost charged particles for incredible velocities, etc., etc. So we don't, I, I don't know if we're going to buy anything at the moment because we're pretty poor. But uh, just wanted to show you guys, you actually can buy stuff. The space battles in this are pretty cool. You can, by the way, so you can buy lasers, you can buy torpedoes, you can also buy, I don't see it here, but you can buy uh, like fighter ship launching bays. So you can launch like little fighters and stuff. So you could be like a, you could be a giant uh, space carrier that maybe has like a few turbo lasers or something. But when you get into a fight, you just launch like waves of TIE fighters at people and they do all the fighting. There's some really cool mechanics in here. You can <laughs> auto eject. You can also, uh, you can also get a, a cloak. You can get advanced shields. There's all sorts of really neat stuff. Uh, refuel the ship. How much would it cost? Oh, okay. We just spent the money. Oh, it only cost a hundred. Well, uh, I wonder. Transport cargo, Master's Planet. Hey, we can all. We, you know what? We're going to Master's Planet anyway. Can we take this as well? I wonder if this is going to override our previous mission. Let's just see. Let's just see. Um, ooh, we're now taking multiple missions. Oh, this just got far more profitable. We're now going to make thirty-five k when we eventually get there. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that as our destination, the unexplored system. We're going to fly out here, and we're going to jump. Jump into hyperspace. I like how they, like, this, the computer, like, rotates you, sets coordinates, and then, like, accelerates to ludicrous speeds. That's actually really awesome. Um, all right, what else we got going out up here? Hopefully nobody attacks us. We're very weak right now. So this is Dune. Wow, I, I think this game just has tons of sci-fi references, to be totally honest. We don't have any uh, cargo uh, room for anything, but if we bought some of these cargoes, uh, some of these commodities at low prices earlier on, we could sell them here. Anyone else need a mission to uh, Master's Planet? I guess there are none. Uh, anything cool at the bar? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's figure out where we're going next. Oh, we're on Arrakis! Oh my God, this is totally a Dune reference. The planet's called Dune, and the system is Arrakis. That is cool. Um, sometimes, by the way, a system will have multiple planets. So you see in the radar in the top right, there's uh, you know, it kind of shows you like other ships, and it also shows you planets and stuff like that. Uh, so far, I think we've just seen systems that have a single planet. But this is so cool. I feel like I'm really exploring the universe here. It's really neat. And my radar is like glitching out. Okay, this is Dark Star. Oh, we're going too fast. Oh, Dark Star was closer than Master's Planet, eh? Dark Star's sun, Nemesis, is a massive red giant, a star which has nearly exhausted its supply of nuclear fuel. At the night on the planet, the beautiful... Serpent's Nebula can be seen drifting across the sky. The people of Dark Star are expert metal workers are able to turn piles of raw sheet metal into a myriad of useful industrial equipment. Cool. 
Anything cool for sale over here? Oh, you guys got missile racks. Durasteel. So you can upgrade the steel on your ships to have more advanced. Ooh, a regional map. That's expensive. <laughs> but you know what? We're almost in the money. I kind of want a regional map just so like I know what's around me. Yeah, I it seems it seems like a total waste of money. But I want a regional map. All right, we're gonna buy one. Boom, we bought it. Okay, now let's take a look at our star chart. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at this one. NG9846. That's interesting. Um, we need to go there. The Mano system. Interesting. So uh, that regional map was not as big as I was hoping it would be. But Serpent's Nebula. Man, this game is so neat. This is so cool. There's a universe to explore, guys. Uh, all right, anyway, we're one jump away from where we need to go. Let's just do it. We'll refuel and everything once we get there. Flying out to the middle of safety, the middle of space out here. So we're nice and safe, far away from the planet. Now we can go to hyperspace. Off we go. So we're going to make like 35,000, I guess, from this. Uh, oh, there's a fight going on? Is there a battle? Did somebody explode? Oh, what happened here? Okay, I, I don't know if those ships are disabled or... Hold on, how do I select them? Okay, that's that, those guys just flew off real quick. Um, I, I'm a little too weak to try and board enemy ships and stuff, but... Group of dock workers unloads the shipment of industrial goods from your cargo bay. We got that message twice, and boom! We are in the money. All right, let's go ahead and refuel. And let's check the mission computer here, because there's nothing to buy. Uh, rush delivery to Dune. That would give us 25,000 credits. Lotho Prime. So I know where Dune is. We passed it on the way here. So this, we couldn't do that. We need to upgrade our ship very soon, I think. That will be like one of the things we try and do earliest. Okay, I'm going to, I guess, take the Dune one. Hold on, let me... Let me first check. It's only two jumps away. Oh, that's done. That's done. Okay, so we're going to take the... Uh, we're going to go ahead and accept that mission, leave, and let's go. So yeah, the game starts off very much. You're mostly ferrying stuff around, doing missions. You can buy commodities and stuff. Um, oh, wait. Did I not set a destination? Oh, my destination is Nemesis. Jump. Um, but later on, I mean, you can definitely become like a pirate and stuff. Um, now, apparently this game is... So this game, by the way, is totally shareware, which is awesome. There are three games, I think, in the Escape Velocity series. I'm playing the OG original because that's how I, that's how I roll. Typically go for those OG things. Um, but uh, there, there is even a modern version that runs on Windows. So that is something that you guys can look into if this... If the idea of this game entices you with it, which it definitely should. Um, the other thing is, so this was all released as shareware, but this game was like really open to modding back in the day. So uh, there are total conversion packs that like mod this into like a Star Wars type game. Um, I think there's like Star Trek mods. There's there's like cheap mods and stuff to make things really cheap. So if you want to hop in the game and like immediately go to piracy or something, there are mods to like make ships cheaper and stuff like that. There's a lot you can do in this game. What I would really love to do is get to a point where we can have a few space battles. I would love to show you guys boarding and capturing an enemy ship. It's so cool. Uh, anyway, the uh, commodities were unloaded. We should be checking the commodity exchange and like filling up our cargo bay when we can. Ferry passengers to New Japan. Nah, nah, nah. Like ferrying the passengers seems like a big waste of time unless you can also do a rush delivery. Like where is New Japan? Just out of curiosity. Like is it even on my map? Because I've never heard of New Japan. I don't think it exists. One thing... One minor thing I wish it would show you is when you were selecting your missions, it would show you a little map so you could like see like where is North Star? Like what am I agreeing to do? Where am I agreeing to go in the universe? That'd be a little handy, but uh, it doesn't, it's not, you know, it doesn't kill it for me. But freight delivery. 
I want something that's 10 tons because then I can carry more stuff. But nothing is. So I'm kind of, my hands are kind of bound here. Group of travelers to Alpha Star in the soul system. Wait, the soul system. Polaris system. Pollock system. Oh, New Japan is a planet in the Pollock system. Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, wait, can I just bring up the map whenever I want? Oh, I totally can. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay, so we are at Arrakis. Um, oh, it does show you. Oh, what? Literally, I asked for a feature, and they sh they're they showing it to me. So you can select a mission. Holy shit. <laughs> I have played a lot of games in my day. I've played a lot of older games, and uh, many times I have played a game where I'm like, oh, you know, I wish this game just did X. And... Older games don't always have all the bells and whistles and features. Ooh, that one's not too bad. Rigel. There. Uh, ooh, and it's a rush delivery. I think we're going to do that one. Older games don't always have all the bells and whistles, and it's just the way it goes. You know, it's just the way it goes. But to be playing a game and literally discover it has the feature that you want, and it's a semi-advanced feature. Wow, where is this place that I need to go? It's like off the charts. Whoa, it's way over there. Forget that. Um, I'm... I'm officially blown away and also incredibly upset I didn't know about this game growing up. Um, okay, Rigel. We're going to Rigel, people. We're accepting the mission to New Britain. Um, and we will refuel our ship. And there are no commodities to buy. Space bar. Two men at the table are arguing. I'm telling you, Jenkins. One of them is saying, we don't have the capacity to run this excess today. The other notices you staring at them. Hey, the captain of the pink ninja, aren't you? Yes. Interested in an easy 10,000 credits? Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Yes, I am. Great, says first man. We're with the operations department of the starboard shipping. We have some extra packages and need to get to Zeus, but all of our courier shipments are on other assignments. We'll load the cargo on your ship. You have to take it to Zeus for an easy 10,000. Okay. We just agreed to that. But I don't necessarily know that that's what I wanted to do. Where is Zeus? Where is Zeus? Oh my god, it's way over there. Can we just jettison the cargo? <laughs> I think you can do that, by the way. We might end up doing that. All right. Let's, uh, let's carry on our little uh, expedition here. We've got to save up enough money to buy a ship that can fight. Oh my god, I have not selected a destination, have I? Pella. There we go. Jump! I like that there's like little NPC encounters and stuff in this universe. Um, I like that we're just kind of doing our own thing. We're like living the life as a cargo pilot, you know? It's, it's pretty neat. Like, I could see, like, okay, even if you say, even if you say this game's a little basic, um, I think the gameplay here is so good with all the things you can do if you updated this and you added like more encounters and more unique stuff in the the universe did like a modern version of this i don't see how it couldn't be a smash hit i do not see um we could buy some industrial and stuff check the mission computer to see where we're going um murphy's world i don't even i've never heard of that one either okay that's we, we want to start finding stuff that all ends up in the same spot. It's really cool you can take multiple missions at once. Really neat that they let you do that. Okay, that one is down near there, I guess. Hmm. That's 10,000. I, I don't want those missions, though. <laughs> those missions suck. Uh, cargo. Ooh, a cargo po pod would let us carry more... Argo. That could be the secret to leveling up faster, oddly enough. We could buy another region map. But I think right now the region is fairly mapped out. I don't know. I don't want to buy a region map again. Auxiliary cargo pod attaches to the hull of your ship and increases your cargo capacity by 10. And it costs 7,500. Okay, I'm going to take it. Uh, so how do I buy this thing? Oh, you can't hold any of this item. Wait, what? Oh, I only have 15 tons available. Damn. 
My ship sucks. <laughs> I need to upgrade my ship, damn it. The ram scoop. Let's look at some of this stuff. I mean, we should maybe buy some of these things, potentially. Regenerates your, your fuel supply. Uh, flares are used to drop missiles. We're not really getting into fights at this stage. Okay, forget all this stuff. And let's sort of have our eye on a ship that we want to buy. The Courier. This one's good for cargo. Um, Defender. Primarily used by corporations and small governments who wish to protect their spheres. Interesting. Light freighter. Scout ship. Used primarily by mining corporations to seek new mineral deposits. I guess we would want to go for something like a Defender. We could get 100,000. We could get it. That's actually not that far off. Okay, so it's within the realm of possibility that we could actually get a ship sometime soon. Okay, let's go to Lenovo. And greetings, Pink Ninja. Oh, we should be talking to other ships. That's so cool that we just got hailed. Okay, we're going to talk to somebody. We're totally going to talk to somebody here. Um, I have a little cheat sheet beside me showing me all the buttons because, I mean, there's a good number of buttons. There's not so many that it's overwhelming. But, uh, okay, let's tab this guy and talk to him. Let's say... Oh, we can request assistance! Greetings! It's three in the morning. Why am I still working on this damn game? Okay. Let's request assistance. You're not in danger. Okay, well, he saw right through our ruse. <laughs> well, that's so cool that you just hail enemy ships. I wonder if you can, like, hail ships and demand their surrender if you have a tougher ship. Um, okay, I'm going to buy some fuel. Check out the good old commodity exchange. Ooh, industrial's cheap. Let's check out the mission first. Um, ferry passengers to... Oops, Sirius Station. Oh, that's kind of on our way to the other thing. We might do that. Uh, Master's Planet. Oh, we just came from there. That's too far away. Rush delivery to Endor. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Ooh. It might be more up our alley. And that one is over there. Okay, let's try this. Let's do the rush delivery to Endor. Oh, we don't have enough sp we don't have enough room. Okay, fine. Passengers to Sirius. I wonder how many passengers we can just jam into our ship. Uh, you know, just like stuff them in like I don't know. Sardines. Let's see if we can hail somebody else. Hello, sir. Uh, communications interlink established. Greetings. Hello, Captain. I kind of don't have much to say to you. Can you help me? You don't have any problems. Wow, damn. Why can these people see through our ruses? We're, we're being uh, too... <laughs> we're, we're too blatantly obviously not in trouble. We need... Uh, oh, this guy's kind of following us. Okay, off to Rigel. We need to sort of like pretend like we're in trouble, like the pack lids in Star Trek Next Generation. Then get them to send people over to help fix our ship and then ambush them right away. Group of dock workers, unload your shipment from your cargo bay. Boom, 90,000. Any cool ship we can buy? Ooh, the lightning. The lightning costs a million credits. Okay, we're not getting that anytime soon. Defender is... Defender is the fastest, most maneuverable fighter in production. Light armament, weak shielding, and abysmal fuel capacity. Okay, maybe we don't want that. How about the Rapier? Uh, 1.19 million. Jesus. Uh, I wonder if I have to, I'll have to use a cheat. I wonder if I'll have to stop and use a cheat or something, because it seems like it's going to take hours to get all this money. Or maybe I'll just, maybe I'll play this game for hours. I don't know. It's kind of a fun game. Um, okay. Come on. Oh, that was just what we were on. Anything cool from ship outfitting? Region map. Might be might be nice to have now okay i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a uh a region map call me a sucker when you're on a road trip sometimes you need to stop at the store and buy a map there's polaris which i think we had another mission to at one point all right let's check the mission computer Three passengers to sirius station um oh yeah we're definitely taking that I'm so glad I figured out you can double up on missions because that makes like you can make a lot more money by doing this. Oh, okay, we're just going to ferry the passengers. And since we are going to Sirius in the next 
uh, jump or two. They have food, industrial, medical, metal, and equipment. Okay. Let's see what is cheap. Food is cheap. And medical is cheap. Medical is worth a lot more. I'm going to buy some medical. Okay, we just bought two medicals. We're going to try and create our own little mission here by faring, by buying some goods and selling them when we get to the serious system. Let's see if this works. We got our fingers crossed. We're gambling here. We're gambling here. But this, this could be profitable for us. I don't know. Uh, and I'm in the business of making money. I'm in the business of making money. All right. Let's land on this here planet and just see. Uh, landfall was the first extrasolar planet settled by the colony ships from Earth. Huh, interesting. Um, they... Oh, so this is this is interesting. I remember this from Trade Wind. So in the previous system, food was selling for 72. And here it's, uh, or sorry, you could buy it for 72. Here it's selling for one, 150. And so you might be saying, oh, Jay, you messed up. You should have bought the food. But 72 to 150, like the absolute value of the money you're making. Yeah, you're doubling your money, but you're only making 75 per unit sold. With the medical supplies at about 480, even if they sell for 500, which isn't a huge profit, dollar for dollar, you're getting more. You're actually getting 80 per unit that you sell. So if the base price is higher, you don't need uh, the price to go up proportionally by as much in order to turn a profit. So yeah, maybe I could have bought the fuel, but I feel like risking it with the medical supplies, which are by default more expensive. You see what I'm getting at? It's it's high order strategy here, guys. It might actually be more beneficial in the end. Anyway, uh, this this planet has a lot for sale. Ooh, here's the fighter base. So um, you have fighter base that you can like launch from your ship. And then it's sort of like being a Battlestar Galactica or like a, you know, a Star Destroyer where you're launching TIE fighters or something. Very neat. Okay, is there anything very quickly... Is there anything that's going too serious? Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to take any missions unless it's in the direction that I'm going. Okay. Nope. None. Well, thank you. Let's head off to Sirius. And away we go. Completing our mission. Oh, we definitely need some fuel, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I should have fueled up there. So I have a little ship. I think it only gets like four jumps and then it uh, runs out of fuel. I think if you run out of fuel, you can hail another ship and maybe negotiate for some fuel. Or maybe they'll just like take pity on you and like give it to you. Um, oh, we're actually docking at the station this time. That's kind of cool. Passengers exit. Passengers exit. Was that all I had? I thought I had a commodity thing too. I guess not. Right, let's refuel the ship. Uh, commodity exchange medical ooh look at this so they're gonna I'm gonna get 120 profit on each we're gonna sell these boom look we're at 110k work droids oh that's cool you can buy droids other cargo parcels interesting all right new s oh crap I did not mean to do that oh my god Wait, why did I take this? How do I abandon my mission? <laughs> Rush delivery. Hey, where's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going to Murphy's World. Where's Murphy's World? It's way over there. Forget that. All right, well, we accepted a mission that we didn't mean to accept. I'm going to buy another regional map just so I can see what the hell's going on around me. Zaxed. Antares. Oh, that's totally like from uh, Masters of Orion. That's so cool. Um, What did I agree to in this mission? I agreed to go way over here, which I do not want. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I think we're basically just sort of running missions back and forth around some of these planets. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep playing this for a bit and try and build up some monies and then... We're going to buy ourselves a combat ship and experience what it's like to, uh, you know, be more of a badass in this universe. So I'm going to I'm going to work at being a merchant for a bit here, guys.
Oh god, we're under attack! Oh, we just got destroyed! <laughs> Wait! Oh, we just died! I literally just said I was gonna work on this for a second. I jumped to another planet and I got obliterated. Rick Hard Slab! No! All right, Rick Hard Slab got a raw deal there, guys. It is time to come back with a vengeance. I have officially cheated. I've uh, added in a cheat code that should give us unlimited monies, and Stud Beef Pile is going to mount up in the Revengeancer, and he's coming back to uh, avenge his fallen buddy, or revenge his fallen buddy, if you will. Uh, let's go ahead and enter our ship. Oh, the Revengeancer is another uh, inept uh, shuttle bay. That's okay. We should have... We have 1.6 billion credits. So we are basically just going to find a shipyard, and we are going to buy the biggest, meanest, most awesome ship we can in the universe. So let's go ahead and look at our map here. Um, I guess we're going to Cthoon and see where that takes us. All right, off we go. Our ship may look puny now, but we are done being the universe's UPS biatch. We are now in it to be a space biker, basically. We're just going to go around distributing our own brand of renegade justice. And how how great it will be. That ship is just totally stationary, but I guess it's he's just taking a chill, chill minute there. Um, they also do not have... Uh, Cargo. Oh, those guys are getting in a fight. Hey, look at this. Oh, they blew up an enemy ship. All right, maybe we should get the hell out of there before they realize they can blow us up, too. Um, all right, unknown, unknown crap. All right, let's just start going to random planets, and hopefully one of these guys deals in high-end, expensive, powerful ships. Because we, we, are in the, we are in the mode to do some killing, guys. We'll even hire some escorts, in fact, I think. We're going to build up a whole crew. We're, we're going full space biker, man. We're going to get a big old crew. We're going to board some ships. It's going to be great. Spica. Um, we can outfit our ship. Spica's world shrouded in toxic clouds. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, I, I, I suspect... I really want to see if the missions become more sophisticated once we get, uh, once we get a better ship here. But, uh, ooh, they they provide excellent defense for all types of starships. You know what, 250,000? Let's just buy one. Why not? Let's just see if this is like another ship that flies around with me. It doesn't seem to. Okay, hold on. Can we, how do we launch our ships? Fire secondary weapon. We don't have a secondary weapon. Select Select secondary weapon. No, okay, I don't, I don't know what we just bought by buying that little hawk, but it seemed to be nothing. All right, we're getting, we're getting conned still. They still don't respect Stud Beef Slab here, or Beef Pile, whatever his name is. By the way, I did not come up with that name. This game is insane at creating, like, funny names for ships. Oh, my God, we're in an asteroid field, an uninhabited system. All right, jump. Just keep going. Get out of the asteroids! You're no Han Solo, man. Hey, somebody said hello to us. They said, Ahoy, Revenge, sir. I like how our, like, our, like, sinister ship is just called, is just like a tiny little shuttlecraft. Wow, there's still nothing. All right, we're just going to continue to jump. Hopefully we don't run out of fuel and have to beg someone for fuel. Honestly, if we run out of fuel, they're probably going to steal our 1.6 billion in credits. And my cheating will have been for naught. Um, oh, there's a, a something. Let's go ahead, and this is a listening post. Oh, God, you dick! You dick! <laughs> okay, this is exactly what happened to us last time. Jump, 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 fly, jump! Get out of here before they kill you, revenge or no! Not you too! Go, jump! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 1.6 billion almost went up in smoke. My god, where are the ship bays? Where are the ship bays? Oh, we're out of fuel! We, we're we stranded! Oh god, this is so bad! <laughs> what do we do now? We're just floating in space endlessly. What do we do? We just quit? Can we enter our ship again? We're stuck! Oh my god! 
All right, new pilot. Yeah, screw stud beef pile. No, we don't want the name to be stud beef pile. Okay, we're going pure vengeance here. Dirk Hard Slab is gonna be avenging his fallen brother here. Dirk and Rick, the Hard Slabbers. We're about the Star Seeker. We are the Glory Finder. That is our name. Okay, actually I had to apply the cheat and Dirk Hard Slab became Dirk Slab Slabber. Let's just go ahead and do this. All right, let's see what we got going on here. No commodities. Okay, let me see if I can actually find a ship here. Aha! Shipyard. Alright, let's buy the most badass, most expensive ship we can find. Okay, Aerostar Space Industries, mainly devoted to producing Starship. Subassemblies, the Mark V is their most widely recognized product. It's a sleek Delta Wing ship, combination courier vessel, and light warship. I like the sound of that. Scout ship is used primarily by mining, the lightning. Uh, fighter bomber recently won for it's easy to see why the lightning high speed new really excellent firepower resulting in unbeatable combination that's what I want I want the lightning forget about the clipper that one is 400,000 this one's a million bucks more money means better ship right this one is a cargo ship no 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 we, we're going to be stealing the cargo we're not hauling anymore alright we're calling this not the Lightning 1988. It's the Glory Slabber. Dirk Slab Slabber in the Glory Slabber. <laughs> Sounds so raunchy and wrong. Uh, I kind of love it. Okay, let's ex explore these. Uh, laser cannons are the standard defensive weapon for freighters and patrols. Proton bolts use coaxial magnetic. Proton bolts have a long, long range and good accuracy. They don't do as much damage as neutron rounds. Well, where are the neutron rounds, man? I want, like, the most expensive weapons we can get. Torpedo launchers used to arm and fire homing torpedoes. I like that. Can't hold any of these. Um, mass expansion by sacrificing 15 tons of cargo allows you to carry 10 tons more weapons and upgrades. Interesting. Missiles, missile racks, javelin rockets. I mean, let's buy a map because we definitely need to see where we're going here. I guess this ship doesn't have a lot of room to, like, do stuff. This device is able to detect the approximate mass of any ship within your range. Uh, afterburner, that's kind of cool. Rocket launcher. I would really like to have, um, like, the ability to launch other ships. But, I mean, I guess I did not pick a good ship for that. I mean, you know, we have money. We can just uh, switch around to other ships if we want. Uh, we're definitely going to... Can't hold any of this. Okay, we're gonna buy this, sure. Armor plast, whatever. Uh, okay, let's just, I, I just wanna see like what happens when I try and use my ship. So, ah, we can finally attack stuff. Oh, there's a guy, you know what? A Confederate frigate. All right, you're going down Confederate frigate. Hold on, how do I select my secondary weapon? W, ooh, there we go. How do I fire my secondary weapon? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all right, let's go, let's tango! Let's tango! Okay, I just blew off! What? <laughs> oh, and he just flew away like nothing happened! Dirk Slabber has been killed. Wait, can we... Can we bring Dirk Slab Slabber back? Okay, Dirk Slab Slabber is back from the dead. Oh my god, he just died instantly! Okay, how about let's fight, uh, let's fight somebody who's weaker. How about a light, a light frigate? Let's see if we can do this. All right, buddy. Oh, God! Oh, they, like, ejected me from the planet. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? I have a new plan. <laughs> it's called Don't Get Killed. Here's my new strategy. Let's find, like, uh, a, a ship that is off by itself. And, uh, we'll just target that. Because I guess what I'm doing is I'm targeting ships that are surrounded by, like, basically cops. And the cops are not, uh, the cops are not, uh, happy that I'm, I'm doing the attacking. Also, I think, I don't know how good my ship is. I think I want a better ship. It doesn't seem very big. Don't forget to send in your shareware registration fee. Did you see that? Maybe because I have the shareware version, I can't get the better ships. But, okay, this looks nice and abandoned. Okay, we're totally going to fight this guy. 
Boom, boom, boom. Fire some missiles at him. Okay, I think he might be disabled. So here, we get up close to him. Boom. Oh, we boarded his ship! Yes, we're space pirates. We're officially space pirates. He has tons of food. We're going to take his credits. Why not? Capture odds 1%. So if you do capture the enemy ship, then they become part of your fleet. Let's try and capture him and just see what happens. Oh, we, we should take his fuel, though. Take his fuel. Oh, he blew up! <laughs> Never mind. You tripped the ship's security, self-defense, self-destruction. Wow. Okay, let's try and fight this guy, too, I think. So, uh, let's just go for it. Down you go, buddy. Oh, we blew him up. Didn't mean to kill you. I'm sorry. We're just we're just straight up evil now. Oh, landing request denied. <laughs> okay, so now you can see certain planets have turned hostile towards us. So let's uh, let's fly to planets that uh, we don't just shoot shoot <laughs> shoot dudes down uh, out of uh, right out of orbit of the planet. That is shady. I will give you that. We were bad people. Okay, these people seem to be okay with us. Let's go ahead and try and land here. See what we got going on. Outfit the ship. Fuel tanks. I'm going to buy regional maps anytime I can. What I w would really like to do, actually, I should have not just randomly attacked the, the planet here. What I should have actually done is bought a ship first. We need to find... Oh, there's a shipyard there. Okay, done. So let's first jump to Altair, and then we will head to that shipyard and see if we can upgrade into a more advanced ship. Now, I think this game does have, like, tech trees and stuff. I'm not 100% sure. Someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I think you don't get access to the most advanced stuff immediately. Oh, that guy wants to tango. Okay, you know what? I will, I will tango with you. Heavy rockets. All right, dude. Get over here. You want some of this? Oh, the rockets don't, uh, don't home. Come here, bud. Oh, God, oh, God, he's killing me. Oh. Javelin rockets. Okay. Oh, God, my shields are really low. My shields go down, and it's all armor. Oh, 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 God, oh, God, no, 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 no. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we died again. We suck at being pirates. Oh, we straight up suck at being pirates. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. Okay, I like how it's like when you die, you just go back to where you were last. You go back to where you were before you screwed up. So, let's see. Missiles. Heavy rockets. Javelin rockets. I need more homing stuff, I think, because I'm not a good enough uh, fighter. To, uh, to get by without it. Everyone's, everyone's wary of me, but like nobody's attacking me. So that's good. That guy went to hyperspace. He knew what was up. He knew he was about to get attacked. All right. Let's just jump to Zaxted and see if we can buy a more advanced ship. I want to get like a big ship and, and launch... Uh, I want to be able to launch fighters. I want to be like a Battlestar Galactica. I want other people to do the fighting for me, really. So, ooh, a Corvette. That looks like a nice big ship. A hard ship to classify. This maneuverability and acceleration make it perform like a heavy fighter, but it's armed like a capital ship. Boom. You had me at uh, maneuverability. I don't know. We'll call this, uh, we'll call this the glory giver. We're going to give some glory, whether people want it or not. Okay, we can get a fighter bay. Uh, oh, that would be the only thing we could get, though. I do want a fighter bay, though. That would be exciting for us, I think, to have a fighter bay. Okay, so we're going to buy a fighter bay. And then I guess we have to buy a bunch of these guys. Can't have any more. Okay, whatever. Um, also... Uh oh, we don't. Oh man, the tonnage thing is like such such an issue. Um, so this attaches the hold of your ship and increases your cargo capacity by ten tons. I don't care about cargo capacity. I want like available tonnage so I can like put more weapons on. I guess I can't. Yeah, I don't want the rocket launcher because I feel like the rockets don't help me. 
personally. I'm the kind of guy who needs homing missiles and stuff. And I can also sell these heavy rockets. What is the javelin pod? Well, javelin rockets. Okay, we can sell this too. We can sell all these. So this will actually be good to not have these rocket launchers. This might help us sell all of these. We're like getting our money back from the ship. Um, so can we buy more of these? No, we can only have two. Laser turrets. Hmm. Durasteel. Okay, we have tons of space now. Gate pods. Um, oh, look, we can sacrifice uh, some cargo stuff. Buy a couple of these, in fact. In fact, I don't think we're going to be dealing very much in cargo at all. So there we go. Now we should have a ton more space for weapons. Oh my god, we converted our uh we converted our weapons or our cargo into weapons. Uh homing torpedoes. I like the sound of that. Fairly cheap long-range weapons. Their guidance systems are primitive and they are much slower than missiles. Oh no, okay, so we don't need that. Um having missile missiles are good. Buy more of these. So that's kind of running out there. Uh, neutron Blaster, most powerful energy weapon available on the market. Yes, I will buy one of those. And what else do we want? Armor plating, I guess. Hmm. IFF decoder inserts your scanners upgrade. No time interrogation of subspace transponders. Nah. I guess we'll just get... Uh, uh <laughs> so hard to decide maybe some so what are the laser turrets uh decent punch which provide dual mounted laser okay those are maxed out but just some proton cannons maybe and uh, i don't even know what do you get for the guy who has everything i guess we'll buy some of that armor sure and a laser cannon. There we go. All right, we are maxed to the brim. I want to test this out here. Yeah, look at that. It'll be better mess with us. And now, how do we switch our secondary weapons, W? We have a neutron blaster, which is, like, slow, but apparently does a lot. We have missiles. Oh, we have fighters! Yes! Okay, here, let's try and launch these guys. Boom! Launch the next guy. Boom. All right, we have a little fleet going on here. Maybe I should have invested more in fighter bays. That's so cool. Okay, let's not let's not uh, kill the golden goose here. We don't want to... So this is an independent government. We don't want to get them on our bad side. Let's go back to Altair because there was a guy who wanted to fight with us. And uh, I feel like I'm ready to have that fight. So let's go, boys. We got a couple of uh, fighter bay dudes here. I guess we will get missiles ready for this guy and uh let's let's go cause some cause a ruckus okay here's this he's this guy's way over here oh get over here did he just go to hyperspace okay i thought he was the pirate guess not okay we have a red alert alarm okay, here comes this guy okay, you want to fight with us Boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. No, that missile. Don't land. Okay, we got it. I want to board this ship, baby. We, we're we going to build our f our fleet slowly. Okay, board. And capture odds 3%. 71 tons of metal. Uh, I don't really care about their cargo. I just, I'm going to roll the dice. 3%. Um, Unsuccessful. Okay, once it's unsuccessful, you cannot board again, I th think. I think that's the way it works. I mean, we can try here, but I think it says, yeah, you cannot board this ship. All right, let's head off to Polaris. Uh, no, we don't want to go there. Or Sirius. No, we don't want to go there either. Okay, we'll go to... P so So these red planets are the ones we're going to start hitting in our, uh, as our, in our life as pirates. As we take sweet vengeance for the unfair death of, uh, Duke Hardslab. No, what was his name? Beef? No. I I'm confusing all my characters now. Is I think his name was just Rick. Um, alright. Land. 
Uh, we will refuel our ship, and we will check the outfitting here. The auto refueler uh, automatically contacts. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, auto eject will save the worry of manually bailing should you be destroyed in combat. Ah, I'm not too worried about that. Honestly, if I die, I die. It's the way that uh, beef slab slabbers always live. I don't know what my guy's name is now. Dirk. Dirk Glory Giver. <laughs> the names are so ridiculous. How did I come up with these stupid names? They're just like, they're, they're like the most juvenile names ever, but I am enjoying myself, so. You know what's funny? I think last year I played Subspace Continuum around the new year. And that this game reminds me a lot of that. Only Subspace Continuum is more like an action game. This is more like an RPG. Um, but it does it looks very similar, like with the ships and stuff like that. So, okay, these guys do not like me. So I can go ahead and attack this guy here. So I want to attack the Confederate gunboat or the light freighter. I guess I'll go for the gunboat. Um, and let's just give it to him. Boom. Oh, he killed one of my dudes. Okay, where'd that freighter go? You're next, buddy. You're next. You're next. Okay, time to board this freighter. If we can get a freighter, that would be pretty sweet. Maybe I, uh, my odds of, like, taking enemy ships are, uh, are really bad because my guy's, like, pretty inexperienced. But let's get up here and board. Boom. Ooh, 18% odds of capturing. Go for it. Unsuccessful. All right, anyone else want to fight me? Oh, there is. There's guys coming in. Oh, there's firing torpedoes or something at us. Oh, God. Maneuver. Oh, God. Oh, God. Every single one's hitting me. Maneuver. Maneuver. Defensive maneuvers or whatever they say. All right, you, you guys wanted to do that? Now you're going to get a face full of this. Where are you? We're going to capture your ship, man. We're gonna capture the crap out of your ship. Oh, we died! <laughs> Damn it. I guess I thought we were more advanced than we were. Well, Dirk Slab Slabber, I think, has had a pretty fun career. Obviously, you can see there's, you know, I'm just kind of hopping into the, the action willy-nilly. I'm not being super strategic about it. But obviously, if you were to sort of play through this game, you'd be a little more careful and stuff, but... I think this game is super neat, has so much potential. I'm very happy it was uh, recommended as part of the fan extravaganza this year. And, you know, when I saw what kind of game it was, I plucked it out of the lineup for votes and was like, this one's an automatic J pick. But yeah, what do you guys think of, uh, of uh, Escape Velocity here? I, again, I think it's a great game. Um, if you yourself played this game back in the day, of course, I would love to hear about it. And once again, this also officially ends our 2020 fan extravaganza. So, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be playing plenty more games over the, the holidays here. However, um, as far as the sort of, uh, you know, our fan extravaganza event goes, uh, we are officially done. Um, if you do have other recommendations for me, I mean, you can give me recommendations all year long, but I always sort of preface it by telling people I have so many games on my backlog uh, to play that, you know, I may get to a recommendation, I may not. Don't take it personally if I don't. There's a, there is always a surefire way of uh, getting me to play a game if you really want to recommend me one, and that is uh, new patrons um, get an option of recommending me a game to play, and I do that throughout the year. But, uh, yeah, if you just want to, like, tune in and see what awesome retro games I'm playing, uh, you can do that at uh, at any point. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun for this fan extravaganza. I certainly had fun. It's something that I'm considering doing again at some point. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the great recommendations. Thank you for voting. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a happy holidays. And don't worry, I will be back soon with yet another video and yet another game. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And once again, I hope you are having a happy holidays. And I hope the rest of your December is awesome. So uh, we'll meet again soon, but until then, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves, and peace. What do we do now? We're just floating in space endlessly. What do we do?